In this example, we're looking at a confined space rescue trainer that contains various pieces of equipment. There could be other sizes and designs of trailers, vans, pickups, or even the back of a car. They may also be fixed at a single point rescue station. The type required will vary from the risk assessment carried out. The equipment is only one part, of course. You'll also need to have trained rescue staff ready at all times when confined space work is being carried out. This trailer has all the equipment laid out in an orderly fashion so it can be accessed quickly and the rescue managed effectively. There is a clock so that accurate documentation of all stages of the rescue can ensure that none of the rescue crew exceed time limits and the controller can manage who went in and at what time. All the equipment they need is stored in boxes and hung on the sides so that it's easy to both find and maintain the equipment in a rescue ready state. On the walls are the harnesses so they can be easily accessed and visually checked. Protective headwear and lights are stored above the harnesses, fixed so they will not fall off when the trailer is moved. Air tanks are laid flat on the floor so they will not fall over and get damaged when the trailer is moved. With the air tanks are the other parts of the breathing apparatus. There is a reactors board to record all information on the rescue in an easy to see format. Also by the board are printed laminated sheets with other rescue information such as how long cylinders last for. An eye wash station is needed to easily access eye wash solutions if dirt or chemicals enter the eye and very importantly the first aid kit is on the door so it can be easily grabbed and used without wasting time looking for it in the back of the trailer. Depending on the risks of where you are working the required rescue equipment will vary. Having equipment ready is only one part of being ready to perform a rescue. Regular checks of the equipment is vital before any job is carried out to ensure it's fit for purpose and ready to use. Finally, having equipment ready to go is of course necessary, but it's also necessary to ensure the rescue team are trained and practice rescues regularly to keep their skills up to date and adapted for all and any new working environments they may encounter.